Hello everybody, I hope you are well. In today's episode of our series featuring Cameron Hurst Shifu, he takes me through and explains all about one of the, uh, the fundamental biomechanics of praying mantis kung fu, the, uh, the soft and flexible elbows. Now I found this really interesting because there isn't a lot like this in Aikido. Obviously when we cut with a boken or um, putting on rotational techniques like Ikkyo for example, there's an element of that body shape in there. But apart from maybe, I suppose, Katadori Shihonagi, where you have the, the, the change in the counterpunch, but there isn't really much in there that's, that's similar to this. I found it fascinating how useful this was, both as a, a sensory mechanism to feel the pressure and, and your partner's balance, but also as a way of setting up a, a counter response or a counter attack. Have a look at this. Love to see what you think down in the comments. Um, definitely have a play with this. If you, if you want to make some videos yourself, please flick us a message. We'd love to feature it. I'd really like to see what other people are, are making of this stuff. As always, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, click the bell so you get the notifications and uh, enjoy the video. Oh, and have a good Christmas. Can you explain to the lovely viewers at home, can, can you explain a bit more about um, the concept of soft and flexible elbows? I mean, it, it sounds like it's obvious, yeah. but from watching you, it's, it, there's clearly so much more in it. Can we just... Yeah, so soft and flexible elbows really um, goes to the core of what it means to be hard and soft. So you're trying to be hard in your attack, but you're also trying to be soft and yielding to his attack and take advantage of whatever you throw at me. So very simply, it's pivoting from the elbow and we use the, the shoulder obviously has to help the elbow to determine which way the, the forearm is gonna go. So if I'm coming with a, an overhand right like it could be you know like a street kind of big brawl punch i can react to what he's doing and redirect my attack without having to redirect my whole center of gravity and my direction of force so if i'm coming in here it's very hard for me to then go pull in and punch again so to keep the speed to redirect my attack and to take advantage of an opening, I'm going to use my elbow and that's soft and flexible elbow. So if I come in here, you're going to block high. No one's going to block low when I attack high. And I can use that to roll under. And then if you were to block again, okay, I can come again under here. Yeah, and then from here, yeah, and I might come around here. So I'm, every time I'm pivoting, I'm pivoting at the elbow, using the shoulder as well to attack different points on the body and change my direction of attack without having to completely change my direction of body movement, my center of gravity. So just give that a go. The easiest way is to think about coming high and then coming low. Yep, so if I'm coming high here, I'm turning here. So if you come in with an attack, doesn't matter which hand, I'm coming here, then think about coming under that attack. Yep, so I come here. That's it, you got me. Okay, and then maybe you'll come around this side. Yeah, you know, by block, you can come under that block right there. So it's staying soft, but still staying strong. And um, it's, it's interesting that even though ostensibly it's arms and shoulders, you can feel that there's a slight realignment of the, of the pelvis just so that everything is rooted properly. Yeah, well, you're going to you're going to be using the feet and the hips to transmit the force. So much like a rock on a rope. People talk about Kung Fu being more like a, a rock on a rope as opposed to a baseball bat. Um, and that's what we're doing. We're using the force from our feet, from our stances, from our hips to attack with the arms. And the arms are really just 
a conduit. We're transmitting that force. And that allows us, because we're not using too much tension in the arm, that allows us to be soft. But we've got to use the hips and especially the footwork in the hips. So something we haven't got into too much is the stepping, the footwork and the transitions. Which Next video. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you start to get to the next level and that's where you start to really use your body weight to be able to actually produce force in these strikes because I'm using my body, we're always stepping. That's why Mantis is thought of as a very linear style because we're using that motion to transmit into our, into our attacks rather than punching with just the arm as you might see maybe more in some other styles. 